A massive 5.1 magnitude earthquake has struck the northern area of Iran today, Friday, June the 20th at approximately 1549 UTC. Now this was a shallow quake around 10 kilometers deep and it hit about 36 kilometers southwest of Semnam with tremors felt as far as Tehran. Fortunately, there have been no immediate reports of fatalities or casualties as a consequence. Now, some may be speculating, well, if this was near a nuclear facility, could this be a nuclear test? The answer is no. While this event occurred amidst heightened regional tensions between Iran and Israel, and especially all these airstrikes that are going on, there is scientific consensus confirms that this was natural, emphasizing the danger of misinformation. In fact, if we go late last year in Iran, there was another earthquake and there was loads of misinformation saying that Iran was doing nuclear testing. And basically this research showed that it was just false. It was a genuine earthquake. Iran's high seismic activity, and yes, there are lots of earthquakes there, is due to its location at the collision zone between the Arabian and the Eurasian plates. As a consequence, this pressure forms major mountain chains, such as the Zagros and Albors, and a vast network of active fault lines across 90% of the country. Therefore, this stress and pressure creating earthquakes that suddenly unleash strong amounts of energy aren't uncommon. And many of these earthquakes are usually sub 10 kilometers in depth, which is no different to the one we've seen today. Here's why we know it wasn't a nuclear test. Firstly, the wave signatures are different. See, earthquakes produce distinct P and S wave patterns, explosions primarily produced by strong P waves. And earthquakes show fault rupture. So explosions usually radiate energy from a single point very quickly, whereas earthquakes tend to have rather deep, consistent natural frequencies which come with those P and S waves. Furthermore, nuclear tests are usually rather shallow, relatively speaking. We're speaking hundreds of meters, whereas this earthquake had a focal depth of around 10 kilometers. That's a rather deep hole, if you ask me. So if you see any videos, any comments, or any questions around whether this was a nuclear test, just point them to this video or tell them to go online and figure it out because it's not that difficult. A simple Google search will give you the answer. If you enjoy this video, like, comment, share, follow, and I'll see you in the next one.